Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, this is just kind of a quick what I've been spinning as well as a big VCLT thanks video. So uh, just want to kind of share a few things and you know just kind of go from there. Um, first and foremost, I want to give the big VCLT thanks to Mr. Waters. Uh, many of you know him know of him here in the VC as one of the members of Ultimatum. He sent me one or two CDs before, and uh, you know, just, just he kind of communicated with me a number of times, and he ended up sending me some other stuff too. And you know, I was talking to him about trading some stuff, or you know, all that. And he was just like, you know, I'll send it to you. And there's some stuff I have on my list. If you ever stumble across it, you know, send me. You know, just that whole cool VC type thing. So, uh, Scott, thank you so much, man. I, I mean, I've totally been digging. The, uh, the two you sent me before, so I can't wait to get through all of these. Uh, all, and so basically it was five CDs that he sent over. Four of them ultimatum CDs and one is a, a cross force. And the one that I have, actually two of them I've listened to so far, the first one was this Symphonic and of course he signed them for me, which I absolutely love. Um, and, and again, I mean, it's just that for those of you that know that vintage ultimatum stuff, I mean, it's just great, great kind of thrash type metal with the, the positive message, which just makes it totally right up my alley. So he sent that one. This is the other one I listened to, The Perilous Times, which is also really, really good. Um, I haven't listened to these two yet. Which is this one here, and then The Puppets, which he also signed on that one as well. So, I mean, that, that, was, that was really, really awesome, man. I, I cannot thank you enough for taking the time to kind of send those over. I mean, awesome, awesome stuff. And I got an idea about some things you have on your list. I would definitely be keeping an eye out. And if I stumble across anything, certainly coming your way. And then Crossfire, I haven't listened to this one yet either. But another great one that he sent over. And, where'd it go? I guess Scott kind of knows I collect pens as well. And he sent over this, geez, really cool ultimatum pen, which is awesome. So that's gonna be a great addition to the collection too. So again, thank you so much, man. That's that's absolutely incredible. I think I took the shrink off of three of these. I think they were like brand new. So I mean, very, very, very awesome. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So Mr. Waters, thank you so much. Uh, diving into a couple things I've been listening to. I've been listening to a lot of stuff on my iPod and iTunes lately, so of course I don't have to pull out, but a couple of CDs, Sunhouse, Raw Delta Blues. This is a nice two CD set with a lot of his, when I say hits, but just you know some of the Sunhouse great stuff. And then one of the few new things I've gotten in the past kind of couple of months, I haven't been buying much of anything, um, but I did pick up the new Godsmack. That's kind of a must. Anytime a new Godsmack or a former Metallica album comes out, this is 1,000 horsepower. Uh, okay album. I mean, I would like to have a little more from Godsmack, if you will. Um, this this was more uh, more on their rock side, hard rock side, than their their new metal side I guess I don't know if that's a good way to put it but just a lot of those rhythmic things I've come to like about Godsmack it wasn't quite in this album as much um, I think the lyrics too were just a, a little too a um, little too literal if you will so it just didn't seem like, seem like a ton of depth overall um, and then one thing I didn't like also is the cover I, I was kind of disappointed in that I mean when you look at like Faceless and their untitled album and Awake and stuff like that, it's just like, I don't know, Godsmack 4 even. This cover just seemed kind of like, put a car on there and put fire coming out, you know, just kind of generic in that regard. But don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm not, I'm still not knocking. I mean, Godsmack's my favorite band whatsoever. This isn't their best work in my opinion, but it's still a good album. But uh, I guess I just have extremely high standards for what I what I expect to be Godsmack stuff. But any, anytime they come out with a new album, that's a great day as far as I'm concerned. And there's definitely some good tracks on this. It's just from from start to finish, it's nothing like 
Awake or their first self-titled album to me. It's not quite on that level because those albums are just so far up here for me. It's ridiculous. So, anyway. Uh, oh, by the way, playing in the background, Triumphant. That's what's playing there. Because I'm going to go through these quicks. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about each one. It's just kind of stuff I've been spinning. So, give you an idea. The Last Dragon. I don't know. I saw something on YouTube the other day and got the urge to listen to some of the tracks on this. Although I hate that the song Dirty Boys is not on here. That's one of my favorite songs from the entire movie. And those of you that know the movie, I'm sure LJ knows the song I'm talking about. A little disappointed that that's not on the soundtrack. Flesh for Lulu gave us a spin the other day. And uh, most of you would probably know them from uh, the song I Go Crazy which was kind of a main track in the 80s hit, Some Kind of Wonderful. But that's the studio album it came off of. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Had to get that a spin the other day. As well as a little Herbie Hancock Maiden Voyage. Herbie doing his jazz thing, it's really nice. Also, spinning a little Jack McLean. And all this is probably over the past, I don't know, two weeks I've been listening to all this stuff. You see, I was kind of in a jazz mode for a little while there. A little Wayne Shorter. The All Seeing Eye. Again, one of those awesome blue note covers. The Isley Brothers, Caravan of Love. Another classic album. And then we throw in a little crocus. I was kind of thumbing through my hair metal section the other day and saw this album. I was like, I can't really remember what this sounded like. So I threw it on and good old fashioned 80s hair metal slash hard rock. And I kind of stayed in that mood and threw on a little scorpions. Hadn't spun them in a while. Love it first thing. And of course with this one, you got Rocky Like a Hurricane and Big City Nights, Still Loving You. Classic tracks off that album. Peshmo, Broken Frame. I've spun this a number of times this year. Remember like six, seven months ago, I was in a music store and they were playing this and I was listening to them like, that's some good stuff. What album is that? And when looked, I was like, oh, that's the one I have. Obviously, I haven't listened to that one in a while. So I gave it a spin back then. I've been playing it pretty regular, it seems like, over the last few months. Tommy James and the Shondells. Crimson and Clover, I love this one. Love that song, period. I mean, that's just a awesome, awesome song. Little Blues with Buddy Guy. Left My Blues in San Francisco. And kind of a newer release, 2011's kind of some good old school type of stuff with a Black Country Communion. Some of the old school rock heads back here putting together kind of a little bit of a super group or whatever, but uh, really, really cool album. Nice 2LP set. Again, kind of has some of that old flavor with uh, Glenn Hughes and those guys, um, as well as who else? Um, uh, Jason Bonham and a few others are on there too, so you know, definitely get kind of that feel. Some more blues, BB King, completely well. And uh, yeah, I got an urge to listen to The Thrill Is Gone the other day. I mean, that's a, probably my favorite B.B. King song. So I had to throw that on. And after I did some of those 80s or those R&B videos the other day, I did have to give the S.O.S. band a little extra spin. So I threw this on, just the way you like it. Really nice psychedelic piece, Fever Tree. Really, really good stuff. This definitely has a, uh, what's that song? The very first song on side one. Um, oh, well, Where Do You Go is the name of the song. To me, just really the epitome of the psychedelic sound for me is in that song, which is why I love this album so much. I mean, th that song by itself defines what psychedelic is to me. And what's gradually becoming my favorite Neil Young album 
This is the one I tend to go to the most, which is Comes a Time. This entire first side, which you've heard me talk about this before, is probably one of the best sides by on any Neil Young album period. Going Back, Comes a Town, Look Out for My Love, Lot of Love, Peace of Mind. Perfection on side one on that album. And also gave Neil Young Trans a little spin. Uh, let's see when I was doing some of the psychedelic stuff there. Jane 3. Cool album cover too. Yeah, I had to give that a little spin. And when I was going through and uh, redoing some stuff in my iTunes, I was setting up an old school hip hop category, which really gave me the urge to throw this on, which is rap's greatest hits. All old school stuff too, you know, uh, King of Rock by Run DMC, Fly, A Fly Girl by the Boogie Boys, um, Fat Boys by the Fat Boys, The Show by Dougie Fresh, Pee Wee's Dance by Joski Love, I mean all kinds of great stuff on that album. So that was a fun spin. Tubular Bells, you guys know that one. As well as the Doobie Brothers, another classic I hadn't listened to in quite some time. And while I was in that jazz kick, I threw on a little Birdland, John Coltrane. Another fantastic album, although all his stuff is fantastic. And ACDC 2, the way I always refer to Airborne. So if you like ACDC, there's no way you can not like this band. Uh, matter of fact, I kind of label this the, the album that ACDC didn't write because this is an ACDC album. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Airborne, of course my favorite song on here is What's Eating You. I mean, it's just vintage ACDC sound from top to bottom. And yes, I, I do like Little Mr. Rogers sometimes. I did pull this out the other day and gave it a listen. It's <laughs> fun stuff. Um, Delphonics. Again, I showed this one of my recent favorite 80s videos, so uh, I had to give this a spin before I put it back on the shelf. Really great stuff. Mogwai. Hardcore Will Never Die But You Will. Great, great album. Nice 2 LP set. Uh, favorite song on here is definitely Letters to the Metro. Love that song. It takes me to very good places. And I gave a little shy day, a little spin the other day, with Lover's Rock. Another one of her classic pieces. I think Love Deluxe is probably my favorite album by her, but Lover's Rock is pretty good as well. And I was demonstrating to someone the other day what, uh, um, about this Napalm Death, Scum, not the original album cover, I know, but, um, you know, so I gave that a listen to. Some pretty hard, deep stuff right there. As well as Black Sabbath Paranoid, everyone knows that. Roberta Flack, Bustin' Loose. Gave this a spin just a couple of days ago. Love this album. Great soundtrack from a hilarious movie. Nancy Sinatra, Boots. As you can see, I was kind of all over the place the last couple weeks in terms of stuff I've been listening to. Paul McCartney. This is a very nice 2 LP set. All the best. Just kind of a greatest hit. Which has a, definitely my favorite solo song by him, which is No More Lonely Nights. I love that. That was the main reason I pulled that out. And of course, LCD Sound System. Spun this a couple weeks ago. Also gave. Coldplay with a bit of a spin. So that was good. And let's see, last but or last two here. Marvin Gaye. Again, after I did my RB videos. And White Snake slide it in. So again, just a quick video of what I've been spinning, VC. As always, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.